Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's the Simple Aquarius here, HD. So uh, in today's video, we'll be talking about why your arowana suddenly stops eating. So uh, basically, our arowana will have lots of reason that they're not eating. So I break down into five uh, main or common reasons in sequence uh, to help to share you share with you why they're not eating and what can you do in order to rectify it. So basically, when your arowana is younger, it will tend to be more aggressive towards eating. I'm not, not I would say aggressive. They will be eating very uh, rigorously or mostly uh, they will be eating properly. They won't have any issues. Whatever you throw to them, usually they will eat it. But as the years goes by, they will tend to have this, um, uh, they suddenly just stop eating or they will show some uh, tendency of uh, non, not interested in eating that same food or the particular uh, diet that you've been feeding them. So in this video, I will cover all the or the five reasons of why you are wanna not eating. So let's check out on reason number one. Okay, number one is actually quite common. So we go out there, we buy a new fish, an arowana, and we put it in the tank, and then we, we complain or we ask people, hey, my arowana is not eating. And then the first thing is, we're gonna ask you is, how long did you keep your arowana? Did you cycle your tank and all that? So number one is your fish is new. Of course, you won't eat because the water difference between where you bought it from and you brought it to your aquarium is totally different, change of environment. So, you won't eat. So, what you can do is you just got to let it acclimate to your surrounding, it, to its surrounding, the new aquarium and new water parameters. And uh, in three or usually it will take about three to seven days. You won't, you won't eat. And after that, you can try feeding it the food that. The previous owner is feeding. So when I uh, moved my Malaysian uh, golden arowana, it didn't eat about four days. Okay, it didn't eat about four days, and I just left it be. And then after that, it started eating. So uh, so you gotta be patient and don't rush and feed your arowana because and, and don't get panic because if it's new. You will definitely won't eat on the first day. If it eats, you are damn lucky. But usually it won't. So number one, it's because it's new and new surrounding. Okay, number two, if you have kept your arowana for some time and suddenly it's just sitting down or it just not, it's active, it's moving. But when you throw things to it, it doesn't want to eat. So number two is water parameter. Water parameter, a lot of people say, oh, my water parameter is spot on, good. But when you ask them, what's your pH, what's your ammonia, what's your nitrite, what's your nitrates, uh, they, they can't give you the figures. So they say everything is okay. So that's number one mistake we make. We test our water if anything like that suddenly happens. Always test your water first. So number two is bad parameters. So what you can do is do a 30 to 50% water change. Before that, of course, you can test the water, whether it's the water problem or 30 to 50% water change and let it uh, acclimate to your water and then you can start feeding it again. Okay, guys, and number three is indigestion. So indigestion is um, usually happens, uh, can, happens for a lot of reasons. Usually number one is a new diet. Suddenly you change the diet from uh, just say from shrimps to shrimps with shells so probably their stomach is new just like us sometimes you have indigestion issue and mostly a lot of people feeding mealworms mealworms their shells a bit hard sometimes it indigests and 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 give them some issues some digestive issues so because of that they will not eat as well because they have, they feel uneasy and there is indigestion so they won't eat so uh, be careful of what you feed your arowana as well. Sudden change of diet will cause this issue. So um, what you can do, the solution for this is of course, um, Epsom salt for indigestion. Um, dose that and uh, maintain your water parameters as for number two and your fish will recover. Okay guys, for number four. Okay, number four if your fish got injured or got bullied or fought in the tank, it will not eat. 
So just say last night it aired nicely and today you feel it doesn't and you see a lot of scuffs here and there so usually it won't eat. So based on my experience when my arowana was eating and suddenly next day I saw a bit of scuff here and there because it jumped for some reason those who are interested to know why check out my, the link above my arowana jump you can check out why he jumped and uh, how to prevent it as well so he did not eat so what we can do here is let it recover so maintain your water changes add salt to assist the recovery and after he recovers he will eat back so not to worry much but those uh, parasites or uh, bloat issues of course you need to tackle with the right medication and uh, this also will not make them uh, will make them lose the appetite so you must monitor those physical and those special symptoms of injuries or even uh, parasites so that's all for number four okay so this is number five number five is like the most least common or maybe the most common in this five actually a lot of people go through every mostly Asian arowana will go through this phase in their arowana keeping life okay number five is suddenly they stop without any symptoms without any uh, reason they just stop eating so number um, for my experience I realized that when this happens this will be prolonged uh, starvation so they will purposely not eating eat because of their bored with their current diet so um, as an owner, you will try to feed your fish or you will try to make sure you eat something. You will try to change the diet. Well, for me, this guy did, did it as well. So what I have to do, I have to be stronger than him to let it starve until he accepts back what I want to feed him. So some of you guys uh, uh, give variety of diets so that is okay because i'm feeding it on pellets and sometimes dubia as treats only so if you encounter these issues you have option here whether to stick with your previous diet by doing that by just let it go but sometimes it takes one month or two months that's to be extreme but they do take that long so monitor it and see which option you go number one change his diet you can change his diet because for me, for this fish especially, or most general arowana, number one on their least favorite list is of course pellets. They, are, they don't really uh, go crazy on pellets. And number two will be shrimp as sequence. Pellets, shrimp, fish fillet. These are all common uh, food, fish fillet. And then insects. And the most favorite is of course frog or centipede. Uh, centipede yeah. so this uh, this is the sequence so if you've been feeding pellet and it doesn't want to eat anymore you can jump to shrimps if they you've been feeding shrimps and they don't want to eat anymore you can jump to fish fillet or or insects or dubias something like that centipede or and lastly of course if dubia all the study stop you can try frog so this is the sequence I feel that uh, you if you want to encourage your fish to eat but if those who choose option two that do they just want to stick with the same diet so you got to be strong in that it's not easy i did it as well <laughs> and it's very, very not easy but in accordance to uh, the starvation you make sure to keep the water pristine clean check your parameters salt with assist epsom salt to just to help to flush it flush the digestive system and uh, maybe encourage it to eat as well and uh, and another thing of this um, reason number five that they suddenly stop eating is very crucial is they got some internal injury that they do not show any physical or visual symptoms to us maybe the because of new diet or any other sharp uh, fish bone or, or any shells that damage their stomach lining or something internal that they require time to recover so probably maybe it's like one or two months they won't need to recover and once they feel better they will start eating so this is the number five reason these are the five reasons that the arowana will suddenly stop eating so guys i hope this uh, these reasons will help you to accommodate your arowana and uh, not make you panic and uh, 
try to dose a lot of funny things in your aquarium it will only make it worse so guys thanks a lot for watching for those who subscribe i am very grateful for that for those who think this video is very helpful or helpful please like share and don't forget to subscribe and most importantly keep it simple and i'll catch you in the next video